Hey everyone. It is still really hot in Chicago. It's like 90 outside and my air is still not working. So I'm really hot. Um, I just came down to make a quick lunch and it's already almost two o'clock here. And I typically am not the type of person that forgets to eat, but I have been so busy all day. And I ate an early breakfast because I was up at like five today. So I had some toast with peanut butter at probably like seven. And I really try not to eat till I'm hungry. So I just kind of forgot about it today, but now I'm nice and hungry and I was knee deep in work and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm starved. And I looked what time it was and it's two. So I ran down here and I thought I would do a quick video because it's one of those moments where I don't really have anything prepared, but I have lots of food in the fridge. And I'm like, what am I, sorry, there's like a big mower going on somewhere out there. It's really loud. Um, and I thought, what do I want? What do I have a taste for? And I just love our kale vinaigrette. And I just thought I'd show you guys how quick and easy it is. I don't have anything prepared. The one thing I do have prepared is I have some, just a little bit of almond parm. And this is an ingredient in the, in the dressing. But this I always have because I always use it for everything. So I just have a little. I'm going to see if I have enough. I don't remember exactly how much it calls for, but I have a little cheat sheet here. I quickly wrote down <laughs> what goes in this because I don't remember every little thing that goes into all of our recipes, but it's so easy. And I just want you to see how quickly this goes. So I ran down here, pulled out everything I wanted to put in. I have all my veggies over here. And then I pulled out all the ingredients. So what I usually do is I just make it in a mason jar, like a, oop, there's some water in here. Wait, hold on just so I can shake it up really quickly and pour from this. So I have a bunch of these. This looks like it was an old, um, I'm not sure, pickle jar or something. Okay, first ingredient is two tablespoons of liquid aminos. Now this is what gives this dressing such a great flavor because it's, I'm a salt person, it's salty and it just, this stuff has its own unique flavor. It's so good. So we're just gonna do two tablespoons of this, okay, and it's made from soy, it's like soy sauce, uh, and has lots of protein. Okay, so two tablespoons of that, two table, oh, I wanted, I also wanted to say, I always shake my apple cider vinegar because you want all that good stuff that starts to come together on the bottom there. Okay, two tablespoons of this, so easy. I mean, just get messy. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? <laughs> and then two tablespoons of aquafaba, which is the chickpea juice, the water in a can of chickpeas. So I just poured them in here because I knew I'd be using this at some point. I just poured them in and I usually strain them and save the juice separately, but I thought, why not just pour it in? So they were just in my fridge for a few days like that. And I'm going to have some of those in my salad as well. So two tablespoons of that, and then two cloves of minced garlic. I mean, it only takes a few seconds to mince garlic. <laughs> I Phil likes to use a um, garlic press. I don't know. I like to mince it myself because it just I like the smell, and I just honestly I do like doing this myself. I mean, I'm I like to be in the moment. I mean, I try to be in the moment, and for me. I work at being in the moment, but for me, I don't know, that's part of being in the moment, slicing it and smelling it, and it's just, it's just me. I mean, use a press if it's faster, that's fine. And plus, I don't, I don't mind if my garlic is a little chunkier because I love garlic, and Frank doesn't love garlic so much. I mean, he likes it, but he doesn't like big chunks in his food. My dad used to make a tomato salad with cucumbers and black olives and he he used a lot of olive oil but he loved big chunks of garlic that he could like lap up with his bread it was delicious so i guess it's in my blood i don't know take after my dad and i know that looks like a lot of garlic but this is really going to flavor this dressing up nicely and i'm not going to use all of this dressing on my salad today i'll have leftovers for tomorrow one sprinkle of granulated onion, just a little sprinkle, and then 
two grinds of black pepper. Want more, you can do that. And then, okay, so it's two tablespoons of our almond parm. Let me just see if I have it. Not sure. There's one. Oh, I do. Okay, so I was gonna say, if I didn't, and this is only four ingredients too. It's almond flour, nutritional yeast, garlic, salt, and onion granulated. So that's simple. Um, but if I didn't have enough, I was just gonna add a little more nooch because that's all you want is a tiny bit of cheesiness. Okay, so that's it. That's all there is to this dressing. So now I'm gonna shake it up really well. Let's see. Mmm, it's so good. It smells garlicky and tangy. I'm telling you, this stuff, get some of this, really makes this. This is our Caesar vinaigrette. Yeah, we have a Caesar salad dressing, which is also delicious. That's the creamy one with the cashews and the dulse flakes. This is a tangy, just garlicky deliciousness. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly, I like to chop my salads. I have this pre-washed baby romaine and have all of that because I wanna get these greens in and I'm really hungry. So I just want to make sure that I, this is going to chop way down anyway. I mean, I know that looks like a lot. I'm going to add some broccoli that I have over here that I already just had in the fridge washed and ready to go. I'm just going to slightly chop it because I'm going to get my chopper out and chop this whole salad down. That way, I just like little bits of, in every bite, I like a little bit of everything. I don't really want a big piece of broccoli or I don't want a mouthful of romaine. I just want like little bites with everything in them. Okay, so I added the broccoli. And then I always have like a discard bowl, which is really nice because you just clean it off and put everything in one bowl. Phil would probably put that whole bowl into his, his uh, stock that he makes. I haven't gotten there yet, but it's on my list. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make my own stock. Um, oh wait, I already I already took the skin off the onion. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little onion, and again, I'm gonna be chopping it up, but I, I wanna give it a quick little pre-chop here. It's probably good. That away, and then what else? Oh, I just looked at to see what I had in my fridge. I'm sure you guys do this too. But I had this head of cabbage that was looking like it's on its way out. Take this off. And I'm just gonna slice up cabbage. It's so good for you. And then some color in there. Make your claw so you don't slice your fingers off. That's the whole lesson in the kickstart. And this, throw that in. What else do I have? This looks like radicchio, which I also love. Yep, just a little nub. I always save everything because sometimes you just want a little, little taste of that bitter green, or well, it's not green, bitter lettuce, that's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna be done with this radicchio, but I'm using it all. Yummy. And then I also have some arugula, another bitter green, which I can't get enough of. I'm just going to take a handful of this. Rip it up. Okay. Um, I'm not going to add the garbanzo beans yet or my tomato because that will be kind of mushy. I don't like to add any watery things before I chop. So if I was gonna put cucumber, which I'm not right now, I wouldn't add that either. Uh, that's just what I do. I know if you go to a place where they'll chop your salad in front of you. Oh, here's my chopper. Um, they put everything in and they chop away and it never seems, it never really seems watery to me, but I don't know, it seems like when I do it, they come out too watery. Okay, so. And I got my flippers. Now I know why I edit my videos. <laughs> Phil likes 
to go on live. I like to edit because I just feel like, I don't know, it's too much. When you see those cooking shows, I'm an editor, so I know. Those cooking shows, I actually edited a few cooking shows. I edited a show for Sur La Table, Bon Appetit, online. It was their online cooking classes, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. It wasn't a show. It was online cooking classes. And, wow. <laughs> they did about two hours of what I'm doing now. Cut down to 20 minutes. It's not a lot of outtakes, but it's fun. It's funny. That's what I like about editing. You see actually what happens. You guys see the finished product. <laughs> so I might do a little editing. Okay, this looks pretty good. I don't like to really chop it down too small because I like some chunks in there, but that's good. And I am going to eat this whole salad. It goes down quickly, getting all my greens and my fiber. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in the chickpeas. Let's move this around a little bit. Okay, so now they're really wet, so I'm gonna just grab a paper towel. because I don't want all that liquid. I'm straining them a little bit here. I don't want all that liquid in the salad. Let's dry them off a little bit. I think I want a little more. So now I'm adding lots of nice protein to my salad with these yummy, creamy garbanzo beans. And then I'm going to add some walnuts. I love walnuts in my salad. I'm just a handful. I'm just gonna chop them up like that. I don't need to chop them. I don't care if there's bigger pieces personally. And then I'm gonna add some hemp seeds or hearts, shelled hemp seeds, hemp hearts. Just sprinkle on some, probably not even a tablespoon. Uh, what else do I have? I guess just some tomatoes. So we cut this beautiful tomato Last night we had paninis and we have this half leftover. So I want some of that in my salad. So I'm just going to slice off a hunk of this. Had it dry a little bit, it's kind of watery. Okay, just add that. And then our delicious dressing. Take one more. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna add that. I wanna make sure I get that garlic. You know what? I just may add all of it. Let's just eyeball it and see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I do add the whole thing. I just forgot, I've been making double. I've been making double batches because we've had our family over a lot and I love this one. Yeah, I'm adding the whole thing. I got confused. <laughs> when I make a double batch, that's what it is for more people. Okay, oh, I forgot I'm gonna add some of these microgreens too. These are fading a tiny bit. It's funny though, if you just add some water, they perk right back up. We bought these on Saturday at the farmer's market and these are um, broccoli. Broccoli is my favorite. There's so many you can get. Frank likes wasabi, but I don't know, they're a little bit too spicy for my salads. I feel like they kind of take over, you know? I just want the nutrition boost and the freshness. And they say, I've said this before, but they say that one little bunch like this is the nutritional equivalent to eating a whole head of broccoli. That's what they say. <laughs> the micro greens guy, our friend Tom. So, Somebody look that up and let me know, because I keep talking about that, and I really hope that's true. Okay, there it is. Now, I'm just going to put this in a smaller bowl, because I can't work and eat, <laughs> eat from this giant bowl. But it's still going to be a big bowl. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right back into this. It's always fun eating out of the bowl it came in, and that way, or the container. Sorry, I'm blocking your view. I'm not the director of this. <laughs> okay, look at this. One less bowl to wash. 
Now, look at that sound. That is something I can definitely eat. Okay, so let's see how long that took me. 15 minutes from start to finish. I think that's a pretty good investment in my health. <laughs> and just using what I had. Mm.